Hello everyone. Today we are going to go through two characters, which is a problem on the string section of algorithm on Akarain. So without wasting time, let us have a look on the problem statement. Before starting reading the problem statement, I just want to share with you that this is actually the last problem of the string section with the target easy. So far, we have been able to solve every single problem on the string section with the target easy. This is the last one. Uh, so you should definitely subscribe to not me the next set of video we are going to do because after this, we are going to attack a new section and we are also going to solve it gradually from the first to the last. Let us read the problem statement. So here is the problem statement. Given a string, remove characters until the string is made up of, of any two alternating characters. When you choose a character to remove, all instances of that character must be removed. Determine the longest string possible that contains just two alternating characters. So we have a, a string. And we are supposed to uh, determine. We are supposed to compute this logic on this string, removing all the character until the string is made up of just two alternative character. And by performing that operation, we need to uh, return the longest possible string that we can form using that approach. So, what are some examples of this? Uh, let us take this string for instance. We can see that. Uh, the result should be BDB, BDBG. This is actually a string made up of just two alternating characters. We have B, we have G, we have B, we have G. Okay, so how are we going to solve this? What will be our approach of solving this? My approach of solving this will be, okay, I will keep it uh, actually simple. I will use a brute force approach where I will make use of the data set which is all the valuable all the available solution so i will take combination i will take two character in the range of a and e and z and then i will try to find the size of the alternative substring which is made up of just those two characters and uh, if the size is actually a number if if the size is actually different from zero what I will do is I will keep it, I will keep that size. And uh, if by moving forward, I find another size which is greater than the previous size, I will, I will uh, change the previous size moving forward. And then at the end, I will return my, my size, the, the final size. So the approach will look like this. So like I said, it's actually a brief first approach because I will compute all the possible solution. So I will have my answer, which is actually at zero. And uh, I will look through all the characters from A to Z. So from char E, taken from A, right, is actually less than Z, not equal because uh, I'll have another one which will move from E plus one to Z. This is my first loop. Now I have another one. Taking from B, This is now e to z g plus plus. So this is actually moving from e plus one. Now, once I have um this, what I will do is I will take it and and I will take a result that will take valid. I will say valid size of my string e and g. I will write that function and I'll say, okay, if the result actually is actually greater than my previous ants, what I will do is that I will say my aunt will take the result. And at the end of this loop, I should return my ants. So what we are doing is that we are evaluating all the possible solution. And for each of the possible solution, we try to compute the size of the two alternative characters. So this valid side will return the size of the two alternative characters made up with E and G, which is the two characters at that position, at that state. 
And if the result we had is actually greater than the maximum result we had previously, then we should update our answer. So now let us finish this by writing our function valid size. So it will be an int valid size that will take a string and a character that will say first and a character that will say second. Let me just go with first. So what I'm not going to do here is that, okay, I will have a string that will be my answer that will say a sat at zero. So what I will do is that I will construct the string made up with the two alternative characters. So I will look through the string. This is looping to the string. And while looping to the string, if the character I'm on it is actually equal to the first or the, the character is actually equal to the second, then this is where I'm interested about the value of the character. If it's actually the first or, or the second. Now we say, okay, if you are either the first or the second, and if the size of our answer is actually greater than zero. And uh, the last character is actually equal to you. Then what we should do is that we should return zero. What does that mean exactly? We are say, if the character that we are on it is actually equal to the last value of our answer, that means adding it to our answer will lead us to two consecutive, two consecutive identical character which is something we don't want because we want them to be alternative so in the end i mean they are alternative so this is where we can say we take actually we append this value to to you so now at the end of our loop we need to perform some base operation if our ants if the size of our ants is actually equal it's actually less than two that means we don't have at least two, at least one set of the alternative character. So we should return zero. And uh, otherwise we just return the size of our ants, which is the size of the result. So mm, this is our, this is my approach of solving this. Uh, I see that we have a lot of us actually watching the video that are not subscribed. So I really appreciate if you can subscribe and um, if the content is not that nice for you, let's, let me comment to tell me how I can make it better for you to enjoy it more. So let us run this and see what it gives. We have a congratulation, everything is green. Let us submit. We have a green everywhere, everything is green. So this was my approach of solving this. I hope you enjoy it. Um, feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section. I will appreciate interacting with you regarding this, regarding your thought about how you solve this. So see you on the next video. Ciao.